had an ice storm a couple days ago and it never warmed up and it is still on this trees. This is 48 hours after the storm and we still got ice all over these trees here in West Virginia. It's absolutely spectacular. But that's not what I wanted to talk about uh, today. Today I wanted to talk about uh, version 1.1 of the Foxfire system. So 1.1 is primarily a cosmetic upgrade to the blaster. The biggest thing uh, that uh, happened here is back with the core section of the blaster. And so the core section now has a completely redesigned handle. Functionally on the inside, the, the mechanisms work the same, but the handle itself is rounded off, it's, it, it's smoothed off. And one, that I, I did that because it makes for a much, much more comfortable grip. The other one, it, it worked, but it had some ridges and some things here in the, in the blaster. It kind of dug into your hand a little bit, but with this, it, uh, it just feels so much better. Now, that necessitates some changes in the 3D printing process uh, for this blaster because of the curvature, you can't just lay it down and get that nice surface. So you have to flip the handle sections upside down when you're printing them. And that gives, that, that, that presents some problems on uh, how to get bed adhesion because there's a lot of small parts and small mechanical things on the inside of the handle. And I've been tinkering and playing with that and I think I'm going to end up going with just printing it on a raft and just putting a raft down on the bed and then building up on top of that. Uh, still working on what the process, this one was not printed from a raft, um, but I had to print it a couple times before I could get all the pieces because there's like four, 10 or 12 different surfaces that all have to adhere and if any one of them fails then the print fails and you get to start over. So I'm kind of leaning toward uh, printing that off of, on a raft. So in addition to the handle back here on the core, also um, added a tack rail up here on the top and added a sling mount. Um, basic, there's no it just slide an attachment on the top you want. The sling mount is, you know, you can hang it. Very sturdy, very durable. So uh, I, we had this out in a war Oh, about a month ago and found that the um, I was doing some prototyping on the on the sling point and found that the sling point uh, absolutely made a huge difference for running that. So the rest of the changes and there are a lot of changes with the models itself but most of it is things that clean up errors in the model or um, make things that made it easier to 3D print kind of changing the angle down here on this uh, housing A stuff like that and Additionally, there is a, another new housing um, that is part of um, this 1.1 release, and that is the housing G, which the housing G is effectively it's a longer housing, and it's got the front grip with a sling attachment point on that. Um, now, it you know you put that together here, you can kind of see what the the effect, what it's going to look like on on the blaster. The other interesting thing, and I haven't played around with this, is with this housing, is this thing is long enough that it will support a six flywheel setup, a three stage setup here within the cage, within this uh, within this housing. I currently don't know of any six stage cages that could drop in here, but I'm, I may kind of try to mash something together at some point in the future and see how that works. But the spacing is there that if you want to put a one, two, three stage flywheel setup within this uh, housing G, uh, it is there and it, it has it absolutely has the space to do it. So anyways, this is the version 1.1 upgrade print um, for the Firefox Blaster. Again, with the same with all the other releases, I will be putting a link uh, down in the description below to uh, the Google Drive that has all of these models, both the, the SDL files to print and the uh, Blender files, which are the source. So, Foxfire 1.1, thanks for watching.